Hello YouTube, today I'm going to make a short video on how to make colloidal silver. First of all, I'm not a doctor and I'm not giving you medical advice. However, I can tell you that colloidal silver does have some interesting antibacterial and antiviral properties. Starting off, the first thing you're going to need is a glass bottle, preferably something with a cork or a lid of some sort. The second thing you're going to need is distilled water. The third thing you're going to need is silver wire. I would get about a foot of it. You can find it on eBay. Make certain that it is 999 is fine. And I would get 12 to 18 gauge, which is uh, the thickness you see here. It's about 12 gauge. The fourth thing is a drinking straw. You just need something to separate the positive and negative side and keep them from touching each other. The fifth thing you need is a source of DC power. Okay, now I'm giving you two options here. There are a million ways you can do it. The simplest and the most portable is a 9-volt battery and a 9-volt connector. You can steal a 9-volt connector out of something you don't use anymore. The other way that you can power it is with a 9 to 12-volt wall plug. Now, the only thing I would caution you about this is that if your two wires touch each other, you may overheat the wall transformer and burn your house down. But besides that, it's a perfectly good thing to use. And the last thing that uh, I would recommend you get, it's not required, but it tells you where you are in the process, is a laser pointer. And I'll explain why in a bit. Okay, so you've gathered all your items up, and now what you're going to do is fill up the bottle with distilled water. Wasn't that exciting? Okay, the next thing you're going to do is take your wire and cut it in half. Once you have your two pieces of wire, Okay, what I'm going to do is make a little hook at the end, like so. Now the goal here is simply to connect these two pieces of wire to your two leads coming off your 9 volt connector. Okay, so I'm going to twist that around, then I'm going to uh, sort of crimp it down. Now you could solder this, that's what I do, but I don't want to get into soldering. If you know how to solder, I'd solder it. Okay, so once you have your two pieces of wire, silver wire, connected to your leads, all you have to do is, uh, I'm going to cut this string strong in half. I'm going to slide it over. Keep that up a little bit just to, to uh, so it doesn't slide anywhere. Now that you have your wires, your silver wire connected to your 9 volt battery leads, all you do is plug your battery in, make sure the leads are separated, not touching. Yeah. Plug your 9 volt battery in, slide your wire into your water. Okay, so now it becomes a matter of how do I know if I'm making colloidal silver? How do I know when is long enough? What you can do is take your laser pointer and if I shine it through the water right now, I'm going to turn the light out here, we'll see if this works. If I shine it through the water, you don't see a red line. If I go over by the actual silver, and this is sort of hard to photograph, so bear with me. If you shine the laser by the actual pieces of silver, especially by the anode, you'll start to see sort of like a smoke coming off it. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to photograph this. What will happen here over time, you'll start to see a red line forming going through your solution that tells you that the uh, colloidal silver is present. A few things I want to mention, if you drink too much colloidal silver you'll turn blue. Believe it or not, you can research that. Something else that's important here is there's no need to make the solution more dense. More, more silver in it is not going to be beneficial, it's going to just simply going to fall out of suspension. It'll cluster and fall out. So that's the simple way to make colloidal silver. I hope you found it useful.